Hey, I've been meaning to do an update, and I'm finally doing it. Gonna do it. Let's do it. All right. First off, I'm gonna do you know the whole whole shit shebang all over again. I'm gonna discuss the hardware, setting up Windows with Elgato, the OBS setup, and then the hardest one, which is gonna be audio, uh, the voice voice meter, which is now what I'm using. It it it's just a nicer, nicer, cleaner setup than all the wires running around. So discussing hardware. Check this out. All right, all right. Once again, main PC, stream PC. I have the graphics card in here, and then I have the Elgato in the stream PC. I have the Elgato HD60 Pro, which is the one that goes straight to the motherboard. If you have any other ones, then just, uh, it's a little different, but kind of the same. Yeah. So we have an HDMI here coming from the graphics card HDMI, and then it goes to the Elgato in, not the out. And then we have the camera hooked up to the streaming PC. And I have the mic hooked up to the interface, the Scarlet, the Focusrite Scarlet, hooked up to the main PC. That way I can still use my mic in game and use it for stream as well. And I have voice meter here, which is a software, not a hardware, but I felt like it should be here because it's going through the HDMI cable into the stream PC. And I felt like, you know what, it, it could be there. It could kind of be there, and plus it looks kind of nice there. And that's it for discussing hardware, yeah. Other than that, I think I could do like, um, what is it? Like, uh, this would be like, uh, if you could see that, it's a terrible color. Um, that's, that's okay, so this is just pretend a display port. Display. <laughs> Cursive. Display port, and it's gonna be a monitor here, you know. All right, that's the monitor. That's basically, if I only had one monitor, that would be the monitor. This one would have its own monitor out of its own graphics card for the streaming PC. Uh, but that, maybe if that helps you visually, then there's that. All right, step two, setting up Windows with Elgato. All right, welcome. This is the main PC. Let's assume that you have the graphics card in your main PC already. You have the Elgato in your streaming PC, or if you're using the other ones, yeah, you have it outside. But that you have the HDMI cable coming out of the graphics card into the in of the Elgato, and then that is connected to the streaming PC, either via uh, motherboard or USB. Now, main PC, I want to make that very clear. And uh, let's go to NVIDIA control panel because it's a little bit uh, straightforward for me anyways. So we have the uh, monitors here. I have two of the same monitors here, but just make it less complicated. I'm just going to go say you just have one monitor. One monitor and then you have the Elgato. Now, if you have a monitor that is like 144 hertz, then this is yet it's kind of, um, it's better if you just, you do it this way, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but let's say, like, the third one is Elgato. Let's say you, you mess up and you did the um, clone with. You have to do a clone with, so let's clone it with this one. That way you're streaming the same view, right? The, the one you're gaming on straight to the Elgato. la di da Let's apply that. And uh, it'll confirm, I believe, in a bit. You'll be like, yeah, yeah. There it is. All right, so you did that. Now to check if you messed up or not, you go to your monitor, and if it's grayed out, you kind of messed up. You're not you're not doing it from the monitor source. You're doing it from the Elgato source. Or you cloned it, but no big deal. No big deal. We'll go back here. We'll say clone source. I'm going to do number two, the actual, the actual monitor. You can do that. You hit apply. You're gonna say you com you're gonna confirm again. Yep. Go to change resolution. And you go to your monitor and you s like if if you didn't have it at um, 144 hertz or you had it like at whatever you know, you get my drift. You get 144 hertz. So you can that that way you can still game at 144 hertz and be streaming at like 60 hertz. You know. So there's that little little trick. But yeah. And if you do have more than one monitor, you can just you know set it up. Let bring it back.
confirm. Easy peasy, no big deal. Got it. Okay, so it's been a while and I have yet to finish this and I just want to finish it really quick. Hopefully I get everything right, but I'm not going to go over my uh, OBS settings because it's pretty much the same thing. So I recommend just going back to my old video and just going to like 343 and starting there and it should run to about uh, nine, nine something. So like six minutes of all that. And I don't want to go through that because I think it's the same thing either way. Also... I sold my other PC, so I'm only using one PC right now, but I, I kind of want to finish this and go through that. So for step number four then, because we're skipping skip, step number three, download, uh, you know, go, go to the internet, do voice meter, banana, click on that thing, go, go down, download the Excel or the zip, either one you want. I, d I downloaded the exe file and then you go up again, go to the virtual audio cable, download that and donate if you want to. I did, it's been helpful. So I gave him like 15 bucks. After you get them, install, do all the good stuff. Stay okay to all that. There's nothing tricky about it. And then um, I don't think it gives you an icon for and desktop, so you're gonna have to find it in your search tab. I just recently installed uh, Windows 10. There's that. Uh, open it up. And you'll be given this screen here, and it's all pretty confusing to be honest. Like one, but it's a very helpful tool having all these buttons available once you get to know everything. So first up would be the microphone here. You can right click it and call it whatever you want because usually it's well, normally it's called um hardware input one hardware input two and so i just called the at2020 which is my microphone and um the next one will be discord because that's what i normally use for gaming and i don't have a hardware number three that i use so i'm leaving that blank for now um I'm just going through the top right now. So this one's basically your all your desktop sounds right here. And uh, this one's something else that I, I never use. So I don't, I, I kind of learned about it a while back, but I don't use it anymore. So I've forgotten. Uh, hardware out will be basically like your headset, your Elgato for this one. So A1, I put as my headset. L2, I, I put as my Elgato so that any sounds I want will go through. To Elgato, you know, any sounds I want to go to my headset, go to there. So you can also see A1 here, headset. A2, just just pretend that one is um, Elgato since I don't have my um, two PC streaming up right now. And then you basically just left click it and you can choose like a third one here if you wanted to. So like do that and it'll add it to it. So you could also, I think it's, oh yeah, remove device if you want to do that. It's all the way in the bottom. Uh, so now going down, so A1, little tutorial I suppose, A1 is, right here, A1, 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 A1 goes to A1, A2, 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 A2 goes A2, and, and so on, you know, A3s go to the A3, so if I picked headset on the first one, if I want to hear my own voice through my microphone, the AT2020 here, I'll select that, and I can hear myself, which is very annoying, but... Um, I do want to send it to Elgato and I had a A2 on Elgato so I could send it there and if I had speakers on A3 I could also hear my mic on there. Um, I recently forgot what the B2s were. I think I had like a soundboard on them and that made it work somehow. I don't know. I, I forgot. But either way don't worry about the B2s un until you learn just the A's. Uh, I had to put it on mono because my um, Focus right is basically on the left side. So if I make it mono, it's now on left and right. Just basically copies it and puts it on both sides of the ears. Yeah. Um, Discord is, let's see if I can bring that up. Uh, no, don't switch, don't switch. Basically, uh, the virtual, ca this is why you need the virtual cable. So you would go to uh, settings, where are you? Oh yeah, oh here you go. So basically it would be um 
uh, input device, no, output device would be the virtual cable, I believe. Yeah, you'd send any sounds you want out to the virtual cable. And I don't think you have to touch the input because that's, that's your microphone. You can just leave that default. The uh, microphone and your headset. But right now we're trying to send um, Discord to over here on this one, so the virtual cable. And once you've done that, and you you select that and then you select the uh, virtual cable. I don't know if I went through how to selecting. So basically you left click here and you select your microphone. You left click here and you select uh, whatever you have Discord as. And we have the virtual cable and that's what we need it for. That's why we downloaded it. That's why we installed it. So you click that and then now this is a virtual cable. Now we have to decide how do we hear what's coming out of Discord. We send it to our headset. We send it to Elgato, which is Elgato's over there on the other PC. And uh, that's how any how, that's how anyone watching the stream is going to hear your friend speaking. And this is you know this whole thing's a nice setup because then you can use your 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 mic and they can hear your friend. And then we get to hear on the desktop sounds. So what we want we of course want to hear the desktop sounds. So A one headset and then A two I have it as Elgato. Uh, so yes, we want to let, let them hear that. And again, I don't know what the B ones do again. I just, yeah, n not important right there. And then, uh, so yeah, after you do that, you can, you can save your settings if you want. And yes, you do have to go down here. It opens sound settings and switch it over to voice meter input to make sure that everything you're actually using the voice meter to have it working. There's that step too but basically you're done and uh, any any sounds you put on a2 will go to elgato and it'll um, go over the hdmi they have over there and then you just tell it tell the pc on the other side that uh, you want to listen to elgato's volume and that's that's basically it for the video um hopefully i got everything right and hopefully this really helps you if not oh you know there's always the comment section below um don't use me as your only reference please visit other other videos to get more insight on this uh, dual PC matter, because it is a uh, there's there's a few ways of doing it, and I love I used to love this way of doing it. It was a lot more it was a lot helpful, but having two computers was a little bit too uh, much of a mess for me. So I I kind of just um, sold it. All right, for now, you know, I just use one PC. Um, yeah. All right. Thank you, and that'll be it. Bye.